Hey Clashers, a lot of things are happening today. What does this mean? Well, we have Hammer Jam started, we have Barracks getting removed in the next update and much more. So let's just dive into the first topic, which is Hammer Jam and we have the one gem army boost. What does this mean? Well, Hammer Jam means that all of your buildings, all of your troops, whatever you're going to spend your resources on is going to be 50% cheaper. That's a lot. That's a lot but not only that it means as well because it's somewhat of a special event we are getting new offers that's always something looking forward to because you can see already the top right i'm collecting resources like crazy and there's a new offer which is going to increase this even more and i'm going to try to push as far as possible with obviously using credit code so if you're buying anything in the shop make sure to use a credit code it supports us a ton and if you want to support me it's credit code itsu but now we have bought all of the offers, and with that, we're above 150 million gold. That's kind of crazy. That's insane. Wondering how I'm going to spend that. But that's just so, so crazy amount of resources. Over 2 million Dark Elixir. That would be a lot of hero level fields. But for now, we want to as well come back to the um thing why is that even possible and the reason why this is possible is pretty simple because there's no troop costs anymore so we can stack our resources and stack them and stack them the same as our magic items so yeah things are looking good for me at the moment when it come down, comes down to stacking those but i feel like as well we want to get back to the important stuff because i don't want to brag about my magic items i want to as well see what we have now with the hammer gem and the hammer jam, as I said, reducing the cost of all of the stuff you can build right now in the game. That's a lot. So if you want to farm right now, if you want to spend your resources on anything at the moment, you should do it now. The only downside of this is that, well, pretty easy, the building time is not getting in half. So that's the downside. But I have already teased in the beginning there's another thing which is going to happen and that is within the next update. For the next update the barrack system is going to change. What does this mean? Well they're going to remove quite a few of the barracks. What does this overall now mean next? Well what this means is that they have now less buildings in the game. So if you're looking forward to new bases, if you're looking forward to making sure that you do not have any gaps holes whatever in your base you should really follow this channel because i'm uploading on a monthly base uh, on a monthly um routine always bases in cooperation with rh base being for tunnel 9 up to tunnel 14 and if you do want to have always up-to-date bases for the clan war league for legend for clan wars for anything whatever make sure to follow this channel because i will obviously share those with you but for the barracks let's get back to the topic Three of them are getting removed of the regular ones, um, and this means they have only one regular barracks anymore. If you're upgrading that, the building time, the, the, the time when you need to build up an army, is going to be only half as quick, which is uh, quite a bit. But you only have to upgrade only one barracks. That's something good, I guess. So overall, really let me know what you feel about that. Because I feel like as soon as changes are coming, which are mainly directed to, I guess, the middle range of town halls, I would say mainly to town hall 9 to 13, 14, depending on how far you are. Um, I don't have that much clue about it, to be honest. So let me know what you feel about that. But one thing I show, why is that important? Well, pretty simple. If you have this bad boy, if you have Otto, and you have with that you have unlocked the sixth builder in your home village, it means that you have directly 100 buildings. And that is something really important, because this means every building is going to give you... 1% in the attack. If you would have more than 100 buildings, this means some of the buildings would get less than 1%, which would feel kind of strange. So this is just like they are doing that because they want to have uh, yeah less buildings in the game to be able to get them back to the 100. And that's my first impression. That's what you already said as well, already a month ago actually. But with the hammer jam going on, this means we have even more to do with our gem project because, as I already told you, I want to get this account to, well, pound of 14. That is the goal. Um, at least making sure it's like maxed out on offense, okay? Like defense is super shit. I mean, th that's just, let's just ignore that, okay? Let's just get that out of the way and let's just ignore the defense. But we want to get our heroes as highly upgraded as possible. And with that... I mean, the resources which we need to upgrade those heroes is just so cheap. It's crazy. The only downside is 
you know it, the time. But still, because I was in Helsinki and had not too much time, we have zero bidders working right now. And we want to fix that. We want to fix that with buying some offers and making sure this queen is going even higher than she already is. I mean, 61 isn't too bad. I'm quite happy right now with the progress we're doing. So 61 for now. And with buying those offers, we should be able to push her even higher. So let's try that again. Again, with a credit code. It's, I mean, that's no big surprise, right? But we have our storages now full. The thing is, we have to spend as much as possible so we don't have any resources overflowing. And I feel like one important thing, which I've talked about so many times, is whenever you're going for a new up, uh, you're going for a new upgrade on the on the town hall side, you really, you really want to make sure that your army camps are maxed out. And I did that in a really bad way so far because this army camp is not maxed. And this is for sure the next thing we're going to do. You can see as well, it's only half the price. Uh, yeah, but I mean, time is still uh, quite annoying. But either way, we're going to upgrade our army camps next because we have a lot of elixir from the offers. So that's our next thing on our journey. This, this is even lower. I mean, this is just, I mean, this is embarrassing. I did really not do a good job of keeping up with the army camps. But yeah, though, oh, another army camp which is not maxed. Well, we're getting there, okay? We're getting there slowly, but surely at some point. And now we want to spend our gold. Then the heroes, okay? Gold is next. We have two builders right now. One builder is going to be needed for heroes. The other builder is either the scatter or... I would just go for the town hall. I mean, we just want to keep rushing with the town hall so we can keep upgrading those heroes nicely. One recommendation. I would not tell you, like, you should not rush like, like I do, okay? This is, like, for content. This is for content, which, which it's a really stupid idea if you're doing it with your main account, okay? I cannot recommend that. But... You can see all like this entire line of walls is only 9.2 million gold. This is nothing considering that we're going from level 10 to 9. It's crazy. So we have some more gold left which we want to upgrade. So let's move some walls so we can try to see if we can upgrade all of them together. Nope, that's still too expensive. So we can we have to cut it, cut it in half again and that's that's better. So let's spend the remaining gold on those walls. And then we can get some um, upgrades going for our heroes because, because we have Elixir left, which means our Warden should go up. And we have Dark Elixir left, and we need to get our Queen higher up, right? So that's the next steps. The next thing, again, time is unfortunately the same, so we have to use our gems or books. That's the next thing. Um, if you're a free-to-play player, and if you're looking for spending your gems as wisely as possible, don't do that. Do not do it. I cannot recommend it. It's just stupid, okay? As soon as you're getting to a certain point where your heroes are costing like 800 gems or something to, to gem them, if you want to spend your gems, do this. Take the hero book. Take the hero book if possible. We have right now already or still uh, one hero book in there, which we want to uh, use in just a second. But if you want to spend your gems on something useful, I would always recommend the hero book. Let me know if you have any, like if you're free to play and you're saying, okay, it's this is the best way to spend your gems. Let me know. I mean, I would, I would think, I would think it's the hero books. I think the hero books are amazing if you're a free to play player and if you want to spend your gems in a really efficient way. I feel like the hero books are one of the best things. But remember, don't use them when your heroes are at level one to, I don't know, thirty or even something. Try to use them when your heroes are a bit higher upgrade. I feel like that's something really, really important. But for us, this means we can get the queen one level higher overall. Which is a nice thing. I mean, we always have to love to get this queen higher and higher. She's already at this point on level 63. I can't remember. When I started, I think we started at like level 30-ish. So we have already gotten over 30 level on that queen. That's incredible. I mean, I'm super happy with our progress um, for having this just, just being a side project overall. Cannot wait to see how far we're going to make it. But again, let me know what you think about the hammer or hammer gem in general. I mean, that's always something good. But especially I want to have your opinion on the barracks change, the barracks system change, and what you expect from that in the next update. Well, overall, that's it from me. I hope you have an awesome day. I will see you guys back tomorrow with the next video. And if you always want to stay up to date with the best bases, best strategies, make, follow, make sure to follow this channel. I will see you guys back tomorrow, as I said. Until then, see ya, and bye-bye.